wish you had five years ago. I'll show you how to design your dream of life. The overhead camera will need to walk. And I think we can do it in five steps. Here we go. Step number one, the dream. Let's just say you're right here. Like any journey, you have a starting point. We'll call this the 1.0 view. The very first thing we have to do is get crystal clear on who the 2.0 version of you is. Two more. Is she wants to one day run a seven-figure online business inspiring women through holistic health coaching. The second story, let's call Justin. His goal, he always felt it in his heart of hearts, that he wants to be a... Before I design my life, maybe I should design how I want my life to look. That's what I'm going to do. What's up, all you style of storytellers? You know who it is, the Cat in the Hatch, your resident fly guy, your chief architect, Michael Andrew of StyleArchitects.com, and welcome to a dressing room. Now, if this is your first time here, welcome. Here on this channel, I'm inviting you to step inside of your own dressing room to try on some concepts when it comes to life and style to see how they fit you. And if they fit you well, then you'll be able to step out and tell your story without saying a word. And the best thing is if it doesn't fit you, you can leave those concepts right here in the dressing room. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time new content comes out. So one of the first things that Clark Kegley addresses when it comes to designing your life is making sure that you're dreaming, right? That you have a dream. And it's so interesting that our soul dropped into our body knowing exactly what it is supposed to do we've heard that saying before and when you were young you probably used to dream big massive dreams some that were beyond even your comprehension and at some point you started to get away from that or you started to hear people say that you need to be realistic but the interesting thing about you addressing your dreams are that they are always going to bring you back home when you have an address, right, you know where you're supposed to go, you know where you need to be, that gives you direction, which we'll talk about in a, in a few moments, but these elements will always get you back to the spaces and places that you need to be. And once you have that address of your dream, that space that you know that you're supposed to go to, well, now you can step into a dressing room and figuring figure out what you need to equip yourself with from a visual standpoint in order to show up as the best version of yourself. There's nothing better than when you have done the very best that you can to show up with all those gifts that you have to give. And I'm not talking about having all the designer brands or any of those other different types of things that superficial people worry about. No, I'm talking about you having the ability to ensure that when you step out, your clothes are clean, that they're pressed to the best of your ability, and that you are as pristine and clean as you can when you are stepping out. So you could have on a white shirt and a great pair of jeans and some casual loafers, an ensemble that is high quality but only cost you $150 and look better than the dude who spent $15,000 because he's trying to garner your attention when you are commanding attention with your intention. See, that address is a declaration. It's a statement for how you are going to show up in the world. And that is the perfect foundation for you designing your life in style. So the next thing that Clark Kegley addressed in designing your life and how we can incorporate this in style was going on a hero's journey. Now, I didn't feel like he gave the best explanation on a hero's journey. And maybe he's saving that for another video. I know I am for how you can change your look of a hero's journey. But what he essentially was talking about was steps and systems. And I loved that concept because even when it comes to your personal style, you want to have different steps and systems that you can utilize in order for you to get to that dream, in order for you to get to that life that you have designed for yourself. I want you to think of your life like a mountain peak, right? And you are on your way up to the top. 
The only problem is, is you've never climbed a mountain before. You don't necessarily have the proper tools. You don't even know what tools you're supposed to be getting. Now, if I told you at the base of the mountain, you need to get to the top. That's your success. That is your pinnacle. That is the maximization of who you are. You won't look at me crazy like, fam, you tripping. I don't even know how I'm supposed to get started. And if I make a mistake, it could take me out. It could put me out of commission, right? So you're gonna be less likely to go on that journey to take the necessary action in order to get to the success. But what if I told you on the other side of this mountain, there is a steep staircase that will take you all the way to the top. If you heard that, you're more likely to begin taking each one of those steps, even if it's a million. Because if you take 3,000 steps, then you know you only have 997,000 more to get to your goal. And while that may seem daunting, it's still possible. It's still something that you can comprehend. And that's why it's so important for us to have steps for our success. And it's no different in personal style. When I'm talking to individuals about developing their style, I tell them to start out with a shirt. A shirt is always great because it's the thing that's going to touch your skin, it's the thing that you're going to utilize pretty frequently, but it's a great ease into entry for you starting your wardrobe. So if I'm talking to a guy and he says, y'all I wanna get a, a custom piece, that's where we start out, is a custom shirt. And not only does he know that, he knows how long his arm length needs to be. He knows his correct neck size. And so now, even though he may not be able to get another custom shirt for a little while, he can then start looking for brands that are going to utilize the same sort of silhouette, the same sort of design, and the same collar styles for his look. And he can get that at a reduced price. So now he's beginning to take the necessary steps to express who he is and all the gifts that he has to give to the world around him. When it comes to then him building upon that, it doesn't look so daunting anymore. He understands that he needs to get a few pair of pants now and he already has a great pair of jeans and so now he just needs a casual uh, pant and a dress pair of trousers. He knows that he needs a jacket, but he is much more inclined to find something that works together with everything that he has in order to make it work for him. Once he starts to understand that he doesn't have to break the bank in order to get there, well now he's really going to be showing up in style and will be ready for something that will be a bigger investment later on. He has the peak of his presentation and he's taking the necessary steps in order to get there. Now we cooking, right? Now we cooking with some grease. And you start to find that you have some momentum when it comes to designing your life in style. And this is when you can start finding yourself distracted. And this is one of the things that Clark Kegley talks about in his video is to watch out for setbacks and detours. Now, personally, I don't ever want anybody to think about something as a setback. Because even in setbacks, you're gonna find yourself set up for your success, as long as you remain focused on what it is that you want to achieve. So what I'm gonna tell you that you should pay attention to is the deviations and detours. Well, a deviation just may be a pivot. And a detour is just a roundabout way of you getting to your success, successful state or your successful space. So, for instance, if I'm talking to two guys who both grew up loving hip hop, right? And they want to maintain those hip hop roots. Because remember, hip hop is not just about uh, lyrical form. It's also going to be about style. It's also going to be about culture. It's going to be about the DJ and all those other different types of things. So you may have one guy who got into hip hop, really enjoyed the music and a little bit of the fashion. And as he grew, he started to like somebody, let's say like Outkast and really started to get into the preppy type of look. And so his style deviated from a hip hop look to a more Ivy or preppy look. And so he started finding different historical figures that looked like him that he could utilize for inspiration. So when he goes to the concert for Outkast, he is showing up in his Ivy style but his partner was really into hip hop culture on all levels, right? He not only had the B-boy pants, he had the B-boy stance, right? And 
he then moved into to corporate lifestyle but as we began to become more casual he started trading in his loafers for his retro jays he started trading in his slacks for a great pair of dark selvage denim jeans and his button-up shirt for a nice polo because he had to make sure he got past that barrier of entry but now he is in a leadership position or he's in a company that allows him to freely express himself professionally of course and so he got to evolve with hip-hop he went from that b-boy stance and those b-boy pants to changing clothes as it go you remember that yeah. and girl i promise you no substitutes just me some of y'all made y'all wasn't outside some of y'all wasn't outside he started to throw on his button up and his fitted cap he then started to find himself suited and booted in different types of situations that was still tied to the hip hop elements. So as it evolved, he evolved. And when he found himself at that Outkast concert, it was t-shirt, great pair of jeans, and some sneakers, as well as his fitted hat. Both guys got to a space of success while still enjoying the elements of their life, but they got there in two different spaces. And at that same place, you may find something that you were initially passionate about that simply has become a wonderful pastime while somebody else remained passionate about it and found different detours still brought them back to that same place that they dreamed about. Now, whether you agree or even know it or not, we are what we repeatedly do over and over again. Aristotle said that. And one of the last things that Clark Kegley talked about was recommitting to that dream. Now, if you have fallen off or if you are no longer pursuing your dream and or designing your life and the life that you want to be, I will tell you to recommit. But for most of us, it's generally that we've just been out of practice in sorts. And for some of us, unfortunately, we've been faking it until we make it. And I'm not here to hate on you, fam, if that's how you want to live your life, but I'd rather you practice it until you become it. Just think about the person that I was just talking about who only has access to a white shirt, a great pair of chinos or jeans, and a great pair of loafers. Well, he may not have all of the resources that that dude who's spending $15,000 on his outfit may have, but he's paid attention to all the details where the devil or the divine may lie. And so he understands what works for him and what doesn't. He understands which brands he should be paying attention to at each level and price point as he begins to ascend to his success and what things he can pass by on. And he also has learned the importance of caring for the things that he has. So while everybody else is thinking that they should fake it till they make it, he's practicing it until he becomes it. And if he's fallen off or he's gotten away from himself or he's gotten out of character, he still has the ability to recommit to that. And I loved that that is where Clark Kegley ended it. And if you want to hear more about his story on what he recommitted to, definitely make sure that you check out that video. And remember that simply putting on your ensemble, press, poised, and presented is a gift that you can continuously practice over and over and over again. And not only will you grow to appreciate it, others will as well. Let me give you some encouragement here. I know that a lot of times we see other people and we think that they have it all together. Or we see some other people and we think that they didn't have to go through or, or have to endure the challenges that we did. But in truth, we don't know their story unless we've taken the time to explore. And if you have, you'll find that these people dreamed big, that the innovators that we most admire were the people who were unabashed in going after what people said that they were crazy for, that they showed up as the best versions of themselves in any and every situation, that they begin to take the necessary steps in order to find their success. Instead of looking at it as big and overwhelming, they begin to segment it in order to get to the places that they wanted to achieve and they never deviated what it was that they were going to go after despite what any of the naysayers may have said 
they remained steadfast in what it was that was going to make them successful. I recently heard something that I heard probably when I was a teenager, that we always have to remain focused, following one course until we were successful. And if we're willing to remain committed to that, there's no telling what type of doors may be opened. And I'm thankful to Clark Kegley for reminding me of that. So a special shout out to Clark Kegley for helping us think about how to redesign our life. And if you're looking to design your life in style, then you need to give yourself an SOS and to check out my style of self guide. This is going to give you some principles and practices and perspectives on how you can begin designing your life, utilizing your look. Because as we know, style is way more than just clothes. And if you're really looking to expedite this whole experience and process, then you should step into a dressing room, the course. And this will allow you to align your character, tailor your theme so that you can show up as the best version of yourself. So if that's something that you're interested in, then make sure that you use the link below to sign up for our upcoming course. Outside of that, be great today. But then again, you know that you already are, right? So now all you have to do is show up and show out in style. And remember that dress is nothing more than the expression of a man's state of mind. So you, yes, you should always dress to a dress. I'll see you next time. Peace.